Now we're going to learn how to create section views in the drawing environment. And we're going to do that with a section view command found in the view layout ribbon. Now, if you are well versed in the drafting standard, you know there are many different types of section views that we can create. This one command will create a full section, half section, offset, and a line section. So it's very versatile. Now, when you get into the command, you will see it has many options, many capabilities. But once you work through it a couple times, you will actually find this very user friendly. So let's begin. We are going to use the same drawing that we used in the previous couple lessons. And that drawing is the one that you see on your screen, the angle bracket drawing. And it can be located in your work and files folder if you would like to work along with me. Before we create our first section view, I want to place a top view on this drawing. So I am going to select projected view. I'll select my front view as the parent view and then place the top view. Now we're ready to start our first section view. I am going to select the section view icon and the property manager opens. I have two choices here, section and half section. We'll start with section. I have a message right below this telling me to select a cutting line and place it on the view. Well, I have four choices for cutting lines, vertical, horizontal, auxiliary, and aligned. Going back to the message, you'll see we have two options. Our first option is use the section view pop-up to add offsets to the cutting line. Or option number two, select auto start section view for immediate preview and placement of the section view. We'll begin with option two by selecting the auto start section view. Now I wanna create a section view running through the top view now I want my cutting line to be running horizontally through the view. So I'm going to go back to the property manager and select horizontal for the cutting line. I'll zoom up on this top view. I am going to locate it. I'll snap to the midpoint and then I'll move my cursor down, left mouse click to position the view. And you'll notice the view is labeled section A-A -A, and my cutting line displays in the top view. Now, if we go back to the property manager, notice we can flip the direction of the cutting line and it changes the preview on the screen. I can also change how the cutting line is labeled. If we move down the property manager under section view, I can display only the cut faces. So watch the preview on the screen change, only displaying cut faces. I'll uncheck it. Moving a bit further down the property manager, we have an option for section depth. This is basically an offset cutting plane. I'll put a check mark here. Property manager expands. And notice on my screen, here's my original cutting line. Now I have this magenta cutting line. I can move it to any location, or I can key in a value, or use the up down arrows, or if I select inside of this window, I can actually select a piece of geometry in the screen to have the new offset cutting plane run through. We will leave it in this location here. Now, one thing to be aware of, even though our cutting plane is running through the part right as you see it here in magenta, the cutting plane that displays on the drawing sheet will still be shown down the middle of the part. Select preview and notice how the preview updates. What you see here is based on this cutting line here, the magenta cutting line. I am going to uncheck the section depth so our cutting line runs right down the middle of the top view. Let's go ahead and close out of the property manager and then fit the drawing to the screen. And there's our first section view. I can pull these views out a little bit to give it some more room. Let's go ahead and pull this right hand side view over. This time, let's go into section view. However, let's uncheck auto start section view so we can use option number one. This time we will go with a vertical cutting plane and we'll place that vertical cutting plane in the front view located right about here. Because we uncheck the auto start section view, we will receive this pop-up menu. This pop-up menu allows you to customize your cutting line. 
notice my options are arc offset, single offset, or notch offset. I then have the standard buttons undo, OK, and cancel. The numbers on the first three graphics here represent the order that you would select on the screen. I am going to try a single offset, zoom up in this area, and this will be my first point here and the second point right here. I'll select OK. And there's my section view based on this cutting line. I'll close out of section view BB. Let's go back into section view again. This time, let's create a half section. Notice under half section, I have many choices. Top side, left. Bottom side, right. Right side, down. I have eight different choices. Let's go with top side left, and let's place it in the right hand side view. I'll center it, and there is my section view based on that half section cutting line. Not very practical, not very useful, but this view here does demonstrate how you can create any type of section view that you need. So because this is not practical, let's go ahead and delete this section view and remove it from the screen. Now let's take a look at one more option. I'm going to go back into section view and notice at the very bottom of the property manager, edit sketch is grayed out. The same is true under half section. Now this edit sketch that we see in both of these property managers allows you to customize your cutting line, but it's grayed out. So how do we get it where it's not grayed out? Well, this requires that you take one of these cutting lines here or here to begin with before you have access to edit sketch. We'll start with a horizontal cutting line. Let's go back to the top view and let's place it right about here. Now I have access to the edit sketch button. I'll select it. I'm going to go into my sketch ribbon and I am going to modify this cutting line. Now, obviously how I'm modifying it is not realistic for the type of cutting views that we create out in industry, but I'm just trying to demonstrate the flexibility of this. Trim out the centerpiece. So now you see my finished cutting line. As soon as I close out of this command and then close out of the edit sketch mode, there is my section view based on this cutting line. We'll accept it and then fit. So as you can see in that one section view command, all of the possibilities, if you have a part, no matter how complex it is, you can create a section view with that command. You will also find after you use a section view command a couple times, it is very user friendly and very intuitive.